Welcome to the University of Michigan Dentistry Podcast Series, promoting oral health care worldwide. The midline is transferred to the maxillary wax occlusal rim with a sharp knife blade. On one side, the maxillary wax occlusal rim is removed with a warm knife blade from the midline to the approximate area of the first bicuspid. The remaining wax posterior to the bicuspid area maintains the occlusal vertical dimension when the incisal pin is raised. It is necessary to remove not only the wax, but a portion of the maxillary base plate, thereby exposing the underlying model. The labial lingual thickness of the supply tooth and the positioning of the central incisor in symmetry with the contour of the remaining occlusal rim creates this need. Small additions of molten wax are applied with the number seven spatula to this previously exposed area. The maxillary central incisor is placed on the base plate of the anterior region of the residual ridge in contact with the established midline and then sealed with wax. The long axis of the tooth should be perpendicular to the horizontal established by the plane of occlusion. The incisal edge is positioned one millimeter below the maxillary wax occlusal rim. The labial surface of the central incisor should form a continuum with the contour established by the unaltered remaining maxillary wax occlusal rim. The anterior surface is positioned vertically and should not flare to either the labial or lingual. The horizontal overlap is established by the relationship of the maxillary and mandibular occlusal bite rims and is maintained. Following the application of the molten pink base plate wax with the number seven spatula, the maxillary lateral incisor is positioned next to the central incisor. The neck of this tooth is slightly depressed and the labial surface is arranged in symmetry maintaining the contour established by the remaining wax occlusal rim. The incisal edge of this tooth should be even with the occlusal plane and elevated one millimeter above the incisal edge of the maxillary central. Care should always be exercised in setting teeth to avoid flowing of excessive amounts of wax on the anatomical portion of the teeth. Following the proper arranging of this tooth, it is joined to the base plate by molten base plate wax. Following another addition of molten base plate wax, the maxillary cuspid is placed with the mesial half of the incisal edge in symmetry with the 
previously positioned lateral and central incisor. This will direct the distal half of the cuspid posteriorly along the residual ridges, providing a guide in setting the maxillary posterior teeth. The neck of the tooth should be prominent and the long axis of the tooth is tilted slightly to the distal. The incisal tip of the cuspid should be one millimeter below the occlusal plane. Following the positioning of the cuspid, it is sealed to the base plate with pink base plate wax. In reviewing the requirements for the arrangement of the maxillary anterior teeth, the central and lateral incisors and the cuspids are in symmetry with the unaltered contour of the occlusal bite rim. The neck of the cuspid is prominent with the labial surface vertical. The neck of the lateral incisor is depressed. The labial surface of the central incisor is vertical with the long axis perpendicular to the horizontal. The incisal edge of the central, as with the cuspid, is one millimeter below the occlusal plane. If these requirements have been satisfied, the teeth are sealed to the maxillary base plate in preparation for the arrangement of the mandibular anterior teeth. You've been listening to a presentation from the University of Michigan School of Dentistry, which is dedicated to supporting open learning and open educational resources. This recording is licensed under the Creative Commons. It may be reused and redistributed for nonprofit use. Please attribute materials to the University of Michigan School of Dentistry and redistribute under this same license. For more information on how this and other University of Michigan School of Dentistry recordings may be used, visit www.dent.umich.edu/license.